Let us be very clear. Sugar is a poison, especially because fructose, or sugar itself, is packed with lots of calories, mostly empty ones, that the body cannot burn at the same rate they are consumed. This simple but very powerful source of energy can be one of the most damaging ingredients you are consuming, and you may not even know it. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five of the most important reasons as to why sugar is poison and toxic, and what other ingredients can replace it to stay healthy, naturally, and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment with quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Believe it or not, most of the products we are buying today in a supermarket contain sugar. Sugar packs lots of calories, but mostly empty ones that the body cannot burn at the same rate they are consumed. The problem with consuming empty calories, free of nutrients, minerals, or vitamins, is that no matter how much you take in, you will never feel full, and your body will always be needing something to feel satisfied. This is why in the long run, sugar is one of the most important causes for obesity, diabetes, memory problems, heart conditions, and much more. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five of the most important reasons to why sugar is poison and toxic, and what other ingredients can replace it to stay healthy, naturally, and effectively. Number one, sugar accelerates wrinkle production. Wrinkles are a natural part of aging. They appear eventually, regardless of your health. Now, the problem is that your poor food choices can worsen wrinkles and speed up that skin aging process. You see, our body can produce something called advanced glycation end products, compounds formed by the reaction between sugar and proteins in the body. And this is important because they're the ones suspected to play a key role in skin aging. Now, consuming a diet that is high in refined carbs and sugar leads to the production of AGEs, which is this exactly premature aging. AGEs damage collagen and elastin, proteins that help the skin stretch and keep that youthful appearance. When collagen and elastin become damaged, the skin loses its firmness and you begin to sag. So be very careful about sugar consumption. Stay away from high content sugar foods, carbohydrates, maybe sugary drinks that are high on sugar. This will only make you grow old faster. If you need something effective that can help you restore your skin beauty and look firm and youthful in the process, look for Renew Skin and Collagen from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, sugar makes you gain weight. Everyone has noticed how those rates of obesity and weight gain are rising worldwide, and not just in the United States. Added sugar, especially from processed foods or you know sugar-sweetened beverages or whatnot, are thought to be the main culprits. And you see, the problem with consuming fructose is that it increases your hunger and desire for more foods with glucose, which is found in maybe starchy foods. In other words, stay away from sugary beverages, junk food, all these contain sugar. It doesn't curb hunger, it only in the long run makes you gain weight. Research has proven, for example, time and time again, that people who drink sugary beverages, maybe juices, etc., weigh a lot more than people who don't. So take it into account and make sure that you're not making a mistake with what you are choosing to eat every day. This is very, very important, not only for sugar content or weight, but for health overall. Number three, sugar increases your risk for cancer. Oh yes, eating sugar increases your risk for developing certain types of cancers. And this is scientifically proven. First, a diet that is rich in sugary foods and beverages can lead to obesity which significantly raises your risk for cancer. On top of that, sugar increases inflammation in your body and ends up causing insulin resistance, which actually both increase your risk for cancer. A study in more than 430,000 people found that added sugar consumption was positively associated with increased risk for esophageal, lung, and even small intestinal cancer. Another study showed that women who consumed sweet buns and cookies more than three times per week were 1.5 times more likely to develop endometrial cancer. 
Sugar has been seen to play a very important effect on almost every cancer out there. Don't forget that sugar is cancer's favorite food. It feeds on sugar. If you eat sugar and you have a tumor, you're feeding your cancer. If you need a good quality formula to make sure that immunity plays an important role in cancer prevention and exactly there when you need it, look for I'm Defense and Immuniquin from Finland at DrLandDevar.com. Number four, sugar induces the appearance of diabetes. The worldwide appearance of diabetes is more than doubled in the past 30 years. That's doubled. And although there are many reasons for this, one of the most important, obviously, is the excessive sugar consumption we are having. You see, sugar consumption leads to obesity, and obesity is considered to be the strongest risk factor for insulin resistance, and therefore, later on, diabetes. Not mentioning how prolonged high sugar consumption is the main cause of metabolic syndrome, which actually ends up damaging your eyes, your kidneys, your circulation, your entire body. What basically happens is that you're eating so much sugar that your body is completely filled with it, can't even metabolize it anymore, and meta metabolic syndrome comes along. And believe it or not, the only thing you need to make this happen is basically not control your sugar consumption. That's it. Some studies, for example, have also shown that people who drink fruit juices are also at risk, and we tend to forget that fruit juices are packed with sugar. They're packed with fructose, maybe other sugars that are the same thing, and basically just convert to glucose, having that same effect. If you need a good quality multi-supplement form that has the power to reduce that insulin resistance and improve your metabolic condition, look for Metaglucose and Metathyroid from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number five, sugar is the main ingredient in fatty liver disease. Most people think that a fatty liver is obtained by consuming too much fat, but this is not true. Sugar is the main ingredient responsible for a fatty liver. And if you have it, now you know. But why is this so important? Why does a fatty liver actually, you know, matter? Well, you see, a fatty liver leads to cirrhosis, and cirrhosis leads to disease. And this disease ends up causing death. Unlike glucose and other types of sugar, which can be taken up by your cells, fructose is almost exclusively broken down by your liver. In the liver, fructose is converted to energy or stored as glycogen. If the liver stores too much glycogen, it's converted to fat. And this is where the problem starts. Imagine this, in a recent study, there were more than 6,000 adults showing that people who drank sugar-sweetened beverages daily had a 56% higher risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease compared to people who didn't. So I suggest you do something about it and don't let sugar be the main one responsible for your toxicity and damage in the liver that you might be having. And how about the channel by giving this a thumbs up and sharing with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. We'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic if you have valid information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.